One micronutrient that is getting a lot of press now is boron, in part because we're finding it to be deficient in a lot of fields across the country. I'd say this is the nutrient that may be the most deficient on average in the U.S. today. Well, here's the challenge with boron. It's really tough to build up levels in soil because it's leachable. When you think about leachable nutrients, nitrate, nitrogen, and sulfate, sulfur, we hear those a lot talked about. You know, I got to be careful with those because they leach. Boron really falls into that category too, in that it can leach out through soil. Yeah, it's not going to be as bad as what nitrate is for sure, but nevertheless it's not going to stay there. It's not going to stay put like zinc for example, wood or copper. So you got to manage this one just a little bit differently. So you pull a soil test, you look at your boron levels and you see, wow, I'm dramatically low. Well, what is low and what range do we really need to be in? Well, on a soil test for a Midwest lab soil test, and it's different for every lab because they do different extraction methods and that type of thing, but 1.2 to 3.0 is kind of the range where shooting for 1.2 parts per million to 3.0 parts per million so if we're in that range of 1.2 to 3 generally speaking we're in pretty good shape so we'd like to see a soil test and then we want to look at the tissue test as well boron typically is needed when plants are flowering so real early in the year a little bit low on boron usually isn't that big a deal but as you get later in the year it's incredibly important so as we work with some of these high yield farmers from around the country they really talk a lot about boron just like we've been talking more about boron over the last few years as well. It is important. We've got to have it for good pollination. If we're going to have lots of seeds out there, you need high boron levels. Well, one of the common misconceptions about boron is, well, it's needed for this crop, not <laughs> right. for this crop. Like it's alfalfa. It's a critical <laughs> element for really any crop that you're raising out there. And yeah, you bring up alfalfa, and I, I like to tell this story about alfalfa. I had a farmer that called a local co-op. They were going to come out and spread a dry fertilizer blend of N, P, and K. And he said, hey, let's throw some boron into that dry blend. And as they bounced down the road, he's about 10 miles away from that co-op, all the boron sorted out to the bottom of this spinner spreader. And when he started driving out in the field, boom, all the boron blew out in the first... I don't know, 100 feet or something, and it literally killed the alfalfa that first 100 feet, and then he got no boron on the rest of the field. The whole point is, when you're going to go out and spread boron, you got to be careful, because you only need a tiny little bit on our own farm. What we're usually doing is using liquid, and liquid might be a little more expensive than some of these dry forms, but at least then I feel confident that I can spread it accurately across the field. So what we've been doing the last few years is throwing a little bit of boron in with our pre-emerge herbicide. We're also using a little bit of boron, like in a solubore type product, foliar feeding with either herbicides or fungicides, something like that. And then another thing that we're going to do on our own farm in the next few falls is, hey, if we've got some boron deficiency, we'll just take the sprayer out and go spray. We might mix solubor up in water and go spray it out on the field. So then we at least know, hey, it's out there. And I'm not too worried about working it in because since it's leachable, it will move through the soil profile. And if you say, well, hey, my only way of getting it out there is with my planter, fine, put it over in a two by two or somewhere off to the side of the row for improved safety. One other thing is test your lime, test your manure, test anything you're going to throw out on the field. You might be getting some boron out there that way, so that could help save you some money. Well, saving some money on nutrients could be a good thing, especially if you need that money for weed control. We'll show you what products might work best to control our Weed of the Week coming up next.